Hey, what are you two? This is Afro Ninja. Yeah, I'm I'm here to make another quality tutorial. These are my best settings so far. Out of every high quality tutorial that I've made, this these are the best. So all you want to do is uh oh, if you want to see the quality, the quality. My bad. I'll put the link in the description if you want to see the actual video, and it will be quality number two because I make. Uh, multiple in this video and this is the best one so yeah uh, you wanna pull up Pinnacle Studio go to setup and then capture source and yeah I'll be showing you what I recording I mean what my settings are basically you want this to be whatever capture card you have Dazzle DVC and then whatever number you have NCSC 16 by 9 I have capture preview off because I think it may, makes it less laggy. So yeah, uh, what the hell? <laughs> My bad. Uh, you want this checked in, and then go to capture format, and then it should be MPEG one slash two, then high quality DVD, and then leave everything else the same. Uh. I know some people have changed this to widescreen. You want to leave it progressive. So basically, you want everything default besides the capture format and the capture source. <clears throat> and then uh, I'll show you what my you know my color settings are, or whatever. You want? I I just have everything in the middle besides the sharpness. I pull it all the way down. So because I usually add a sharpness in Sony Vegas. And then After Effects, but Sony Vegas is good enough, I would say. So just pull it all the way down. And then pull up Sony Vegas. And then drag in your clip. And then you want to first drag in, well, go to Sharpen. <clears throat> and then add in Heavy. Most people think this is crazy, but for me it works. So, yeah. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's that part. Uh, if you don't have After Effects, I would say put in a, a sharpen medium because I do this thing in After Effects to make all that uh, those black marks, the deep black marks go away. But yeah, you want sharpen medium. If you don't have AAE, but you want heavy sharpen if you do. So yeah, and then go to where is it? levels then drag and brighten and then yeah saturation adjust the usual uh, you want to bring and reset the none drag this all the way up to the right then center all the way to the left and then spray all the way to the right gives it a touch of color and then you want to go to file render as uh, and yes, uh, it says imagine because I use the render settings from uh, ITS Imagine, my homie. Uh, so yeah, uh, go to custom, make it video render quality best. Uh, and then one of media video 9, custom, and make it 856 by 480. I think his was 900 or 1000 but I don't really like that so I just changed it to 856 and then check this in make this 100 make this 8 and 3 right here and and this should be 3 so and let's see is there anything else in Sony Vegas um, you can pause the video check out my project properties I don't know if that helps or anything but check pause the video and get it uh, and that's basically it right there so then render it out and you're done for all you people who don't have AAE so uh, people who do go ahead and pull up After Effects and uh, drag in your video make a new composition or whatever the usual and and this part what I do is um, yeah for you people who 
don't have these effects, uh, you can look at my other tutorial on how to get, it's called Mega Upload Plugin Pack from yours truly, which is me. Uh, it doesn't come with uh, RSMB, but yeah, it comes with just sharpening and stuff. So if you do have RSMB, which is real smart motion blur, drag that in and make uh, make the blur amount 6, 0.60 or 0.6 and the motion sensitivity 100. And then you want to drag the sharp S sharpen, which is uh, sapphire sharpen right here uh it's also my plugin pack by the way so that i was talking about and you want to make that point two what should already be like that no no yeah make it point two for the sharpen amp and sharpen width uh 1326.0 and then that's it for the sharpen and the gamma you uh Make go to scale lights, just go like this, and make this 1.140, and that's to like make it kind of shiny or something like that. And then just add it, add the composition to a render queue. Just go ahead, click on this, then composition to add to render queue, and then this, and then uh, you just you know the rest, name it, and then render it out. Uh, let's see. hell is this? Change the color scheme to win over this base. I'll do that later. But, uh, <laughs> my bad for that. You know the rest. Uh, I'm just going to do it for y'all. Delete that. Uh, add a render queue. Uh, what I have is for stretch, you know, 856 by 480 make that the rendering at and stretch to and if you have audio in it just click that and then uh, That's basically it just press render and it should start going uh, This is a tutorial from you do afro ninja so uh, Comment rate and subscribe and peace comment this video if the settings has helped you at all and Yeah, peace